Hi, and welcome to this online demonstration of how to install James Hardy Strea cladding. Designing and building to get that classic look is all about getting the process and the details right. So let's get this done. To start off, you'll need your choice of Strea cladding in standard, wide, or splayed profile. James Hardy Hardy Wrap Weather Barrier. James Hardy Joint Sealant. For a timber frame concealed, you'll need a 2.8 by 40 millimeter class three fiber cement nail. Timber framing, face fixing, you'll need a 2.8 millimeter by 50 millimeter class three fiber cement nail. For steel frames, use minimum 40 millimeter screws. Use 40 millimeter hardy drive or quick drive screws. And bond breaking tape for use behind sealant at joints. So the tools you'll need, a spirit level, drill, hardy blade saw blade or comparable fibre cement blade, vacuum extraction with filter appropriate for capturing fine respirable dust, story rod and your PPE. Okay guys, so safety first, always wear your P1 or P2 dust mask, your standard PPE and always make sure you're cutting in a well ventilated area. Tell people in the immediate area that you will be cutting and there will be dust and never cut indoors. When using a power saw, always have a dust extraction system connected to the saw. For more information, check out the James Hardy Safety Data Sheet. Okay guys, before you start cladding, it's very important to get your prep right, so make sure your frames are straight and square to avoid any alignment issues. You can use a timber frame or steel frame, doesn't matter. You can install your hardy edge trim, then the hardy wrap, and then you're good to start cladding. Okay, generally, internal and external corners have additional framing requirements, and the flashings and corner accessories need to be installed prior to installing the cladding. Okay, one more thing you need to consider is the layout of your cladding, and there's three options for this. Option one, when joining on stud, you need to use the vertical flashing stop to emphasize the joint. Option two is a traditional butt joint on stud with the silicon in the joint and the bond breaker tape behind. Option three is joining off stud with the polyurethane joint sealant through the butt joint and there's no flashings required. Okay guys, when doing your butt joints, make sure you stagger your joints by two or more stud lines so you get good looks and integrity. For more information, check out the Strea Technical Manual.